Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how I made these tokens uh, for Epic. Scruffy Crow. Okay, so if you've watched a few of my other videos, you'll know I have a separate set of dice and tokens for every army that I play in every game. Um, so to that matter, I picked up uh, this box of dice. Um, I got them for a price I was happy with. I don't know if that was if it was a sensible price or not. Uh, these are from the end times, from the death of Warhammer, I guess you could say. Um, but they look pretty cool. So it's a nice shiny tin. Hopefully this will be big enough to hold all my tokens and dice. Ooh. And there's the dice themselves. I was worried about these weird lines. Um, it's a bit random and arbitrary, but I think they look quite cool. Uh, they're fairly legible. A lot better than some games workshop dice. And I like the fact they've got corn symbols on the ones. So I've seen my army symbol come up. It's a bad roll, probably. Ah, oh, well. So I believe the tokens are a key point of playing um, Epic Space Marine or Net Epic. Uh, so I've got the so I've got the list of tokens from the Net Epic rulebook here, and so now I'm going to make some slightly prettier versions, and then I'll get them transferred onto some of these MDF bases uh, that I rejected for my models because uh, of their slightly rounded corners, uh, but they'll be fine for the tokens. Okay, so the first thing I did was pinch this image offline uh, and I've put this on a sort of square canvas um, and we wanted to, I made the backs first. Uh, so I faded in a red to give it a bit of colour, go with a corn theme and a chaos symbol. And that's what I'll be using as the backs, nice and simple, uh, should be quite striking. For the fronts, to sort of save on ink and make everything quite legible, I went for white. And then I just used my normal font I use for everything else, it's called Dashly. But I also gave it a white outline to make sure that when it prints, even if it runs a little bit, because I'm going to be using PVA and it's an inkjet rather than uh, the laser printer I'd prefer to use, um, gave it the white outline just to, uh, to make sure it's nice and legible. Uh, and then for each one, I also added a little bit of art. Uh, once again, all just nicked off Google Images. And I tried to go for this sort of sketchy look. Uh, so there's the first fire one. Advance, I used this arrow. Charge, I used a sword. And fall back, I used this chicken, uh, which in hindsight I should have bulked up those lines a little bit. So I saved each one of them as a separate image uh, and then resized them down to 27 mil. So I'm going to use 25 mil bases, but I want a bit of uh, forgiveness around the edges. And then I loaded all those images into Word and printed them out. Okay, so here they are, uh, sized correctly. I uh, want to shoot the backs, I want to shoot the fronts. So I know there's sort of uh, 20 of each on the original sheet, I think. Uh, but I've gone for 10 of each uh, just to start off with. And if I, it turns out I need more, then we can always make more. Okay, so my desk's a mess and I can't find my scissors, so I won't nick these from elsewhere in the house. Uh, start by cutting them all out, I reckon. So the bases I'm going to be using uh, were some of the cheapest ones off eBay. Um, I was going to use them for my epic stuff, but I kind of didn't like that they had these slightly curved corners. And to stick them down, I'm going to be using this uh, just builder's PVA. I'll use a little Pringles lid like I usually do. All right, so each one, I'm just going to get a nice thin layer of the PVA on the base. We don't want it too thick because we don't want it to get too wet. And then we're just going to get this guy nice and central because we don't want any of these white edges. We want them to all be off the edges. I can check where the edges are just by peeling it down like that. I'm just going to give it another little coat of PVA on the top just to seal it in. So there they all are, the first halves. Uh, bit of a curious thing this time. I was expecting uh, a little bit of uh, running because the PVA is not really the best for this, uh, especially not on the inkjet paper. So I'm used to using uh, laser paper is better if, you can, if you've got a laser printer. Or laser printing is better than inkjet printing, I mean. Um, however, what I wasn't expecting is, that, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's a bit of a yellow colour coming through. 
And what that actually is, is that's the colour from the wood. Um, it seemed to have seeped upwards, uh, which is something I wasn't expecting. Uh, but I think they look all right for now. Um, I'll wait for them to dry and we'll do the other sides. And then we've got all the back sides done as well. And I've not put the uh, second layer of glue on like I did on the first side uh, because, I've, because I'm worried that I'd make uh, this extra sort of inked side run too much. So that's both sides uh, nice and dry now. Uh, so now we just need to trim off the excess from both sides. And I found the best way of doing this is quite a rough file. And literally we just take the edges and just drag it across like that. Just in one direction, all the way around. And while I'm here I can clean up these little connection marks. And we end up with a nice neat token like this. With my letters nice and clear on the one side and my logo on the back. All right, that took a little time. Uh, there's all my offcuts. Get rid of them. So that's them all finished up. I probably am gonna try and give them a coat of gloss lacquer. Um, see how that turns out. And if that works, I will stick this on the end of this video. Uh, but otherwise, they are finished. Uh, I would have got better results using inkjet paper and these bases, I said, le leached a bit of the colour. Uh, so I might have slightly done a different design. Uh, but I think they're legible. Uh, they're nice and solid. They've got a good feel to them. Uh, and I think they've come out pretty well. Uh, so they will be more than handy in my first game. You could obviously just make these out of card. Um, or there's a few other ways you could do them. I mean, you could print the ones straight off the rules. Um, but yeah, I'm happy the way these came out. Okay, so I did a bit of a test and gave some of these a blast with this Halfords clear lacquer. And as you can see, on these are the two I've tested it on. That was a little bit more than that one. Um, it has brought those colours up nicely. Um, so they were they looked almost exactly the same before I uh, sprayed it. Um, but it has given it a sort of weird finish that I'm not entirely convinced about. I'll put a little bit more on this one. Uh, and I'm thinking that's going to make them look less legible on a tabletop. So although the colour has come up nicely, I'm not as convinced about the finish. Uh, but it does make them feel quite nice. Uh, so I'm still torn on the lacquer. Uh, but yeah, that's what it does anyway. Ah! And that's all for this video. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.